Good day everyone, I'm Sir RJ Lason, your match tutor and guide on this exciting journey through the world of numbers. In this video, we will discuss all about measures of central location of ungrouped data part 2, the median. So, in let us recall what are the three measures of central location, the mean, the average, the median, the middle score, and the most frequent data, that, which is the mode. So, let's focus here in the median or the middle score. So, the median or the middle score of the data set, you need to arrange it, the data, from ascending or descending order, from lowest to highest or highest to lowest data. So, it can be used in the all levels above nominal uh, measurement. So, in the median of the population and sample, the same definition for the population and sample in the mean, no? So, the population, the whole group, and the sample you're taking out, uh, the sample uh, data out of the population. So, the median of the population class, there are uh, two ways on how to solve the median of the population. The symbol for the median of the population is this one. Now, we have here, as you can see, if n is even and if n is odd. When you say n is even, it... Uh, it it says here or it represents the number of your data set. So the, if the total number or the number of your data sets is even, you will use this one. X sub n over 2 plus x sub n over 2 plus 1 divided by 2. But when your n or your total number of your data is odd, so that we you will use the mean of the population is equals to x sub n plus 1 over 2. While in the mean of the sample, no, uh, this is the sample. Uh, this is the symbol for your me, uh, median of the sample, rather. Your median of the sample. Now, we have here two ways also to solve. If your n is even, so you will use x sub n over 2 plus x sub n over 2, uh, over 2 plus 1 divided by 2. And if your n is odd, so we have here x uh, sub n plus 1 over 2. So, as you can see also in the population, your n is capital letter and then in sample also we have here your n is small letters here so let's have an example so we have here no uh it's easy lang to identify the median or the middle score no we have here sample the monthly salary so we have here uh, let's count the total number of data set we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen no, that is odd. No, now if you arrange it from lowest to highest data, you can easily identify what is the middle score or the middle data or the median. So, so the middle, since we have 13 data, so that means the seventh data is your median, which is 19k. While here we have here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So, that means your data set is even. So, when you find the middle score or the median, you look at the two middle terms or for an even number, the value takes the mean of the middle two, uh, middle two data. So, we have 19k and 20k, which is the two middle data. So, 19k plus 20k divided by 2, find the, the mean for that. So, we have 19.5k. That is the median. So you can easily solve that one class in for this example. Assume, uh, assume that this a pop this is a population. Uh, calculate the median monthly salary of the 14 employees of CSU. So we have here 14. So that means n is equals to 14, which is even see a class. Again, what are the even numbers? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So kanang na Paris class dili bungkig. When you say odd, so we have uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, kanang bungkig class, na ay sub, uh, na ay, na ay, wal, na ay term nga walay partner. So here, since n is equals to 14, and then it's stated here that it's a population, so you will use the median of the population is equals to x sub n over 2 plus x sub n over 2 plus 1 divided by 2, if n is even. So we have here, no? Let's identify your n is 14 months, so substitute this one to 14. So we have x sub 14 over 2 plus x sub 14 over 2 plus 1. 
So, 14 divide 2, that is x sub 7, plus, so 14 divide 2 is 7 plus 1, so we have x sub 8 over 2. So, what is your 7th term and your 8th term, which is say 19k and 20k? So, 19k plus 20k, so add divided by 2. So, we have uh, 19k plus 20k, we have 20, uh, 30, 39k divided by 2, we have 19.5k. So, that means the median of your given uh, monthly salary of the CSU employees is 19.K, or that is your middle term. Next is we need to find the median of the following set of numbers, 8, 14, 8, 45, 1, 31, 16, 40, 12, 30, 42, 30, 24. So, we have here... Uh, your to uh, your data is odd, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. So we have 13 given data set. So we have here, arrange first the numbers from least to greatest or greatest to least. So uh, pa ascending order to always class from lowest to highest. So we have here 1, 8, 8, 12, 14, 16, 24, 30, 30, 31, 40, 42, 45. So, your N is 13. Always class, in finding the median, you need to arrange the data set from lowest to highest. Ano lang, ascending lang ta para same ta o goan kining pattern class to identify. So, we have here, uh, mean of the sample, uh, mean of the population is equals to N plus 1 over 2. So, we have N is 13 plus 1 over 2, so 13 plus 1 is 14, so your me, uh, median of the population is 14 divided 2, we have uh, the median of the population is the 7 terms. So what is the 7 term here given data? That is 24. Hence, the middle term is 24. So we have here example number 3. In a basketball game between ABC High School and XYZ High School, the players' individual points were 3, 13, 7, 5, 21, 23, 14, 11, 23, 8. Calculate the median of the following score. So, since uh, we have the given data set of both teams, no? So, we have, we will use, ano, a median of the population. So, since we have the data set of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 data sets, so we, you will use n if n is even. So, we have here arranged first the data set from list to greatest. So, we have 3, 5, 7, 8, 11, 13, 14, 21, 23, 23. So, we have here n is equals to 10 since we have 10 given data set. So, you will use uh, median of the population x, uh, x sub n over 2 plus x sub n over 2 plus 1 over 2. So, we have here x sub 10, since your n is equals to 10, 10 over 2 plus x sub 10 over 2 plus 1. So we have 10 divide 2, we have x sub 5, and then 10 divide 2 is 5 plus 1, so we have x sub 6. So identify the 5th term and the 6th term, we have 11 and 13. So your mean of your uh, population, uh, the median of your population is 11 plus 13 over 2, so 11 plus 13 is 24. Divide 2, we have... Uh, your median of the population is 12. Hence, hence, the middle term is 12. Next, the following are the ages of the selected students in the vocational class. We have 32, 43, 39, 28, 42, 31. Find the median, of the, median age of the students. So, you will use median of sample, right? So, since it's stated here, selected students in vocational class. So, we have here, since even, so 2, 4, 6, we have given 6 data set. Arrange the data first from least to greatest. So, we have 28, 31, 32, 39, 42, 43. So, your n is equal to 6. So, we have x sub n over 2 plus x sub n over 2 plus 1 divided by 2. Substitute your n, which is 6. So, x sub 6 divide 2. We had x sub 3 and x sub 6 over 2, so we have 3 plus 1, so we have x sub 4. So identify the third and fourth term, we had 32 and 39. So 32 plus 39, we have 71 divide 2. So your me median 
of the sample is 35.5. Hence, the middle term is 35.5. Last example, find the median of the values 15, 17, 13, 15, 26, 23, 29, 18, 22, 15. So assume that this is a popular uh, this is a sample. Next, so you will use so we have the given data set 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So that means it is odd. So you will use x sub n plus 1 over 2. So arrange the data set from least to greatest. So we have 13, 15, 15, 17, 18, 22, 23, 26, 29. So your n is equals to 9. Substitute the value of your n. So we have 9 plus 1 over 2. So 9 plus 1 which is 10 divided by 2. So your um, uh, median of the sample is the fifth term. So what is the fifth term? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which is 80. Hence, the middle term is 18. So, here in the C siblings, no, you added also the C siblings again. Here, the given data. So, when you look at what is the middle term, so we have N is 15 months, so that means, that means, ika 8 na term. That is your mid, median term, and the median or your middle term. So, the median advantages is unaffected by extreme score so unlike the mean no no it affected your given data the the represent representation of your data no it's affected see uh, by the extreme scores well in the median uh unaffected siya by the extreme scores by used at all levels above nominal while in this advantages only considered ordered values ignored so only that's all for today. I hope that you've learned something out of this lesson. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much everyone. Goodbye!